guys, I'm here to um, take you along on a DIY project with wall planks. Uh, wall planks are wall coverings where you can be a true beginning DIYer, you don't need any power tools, and that's definitely me. So I'm gonna show you how to use them. Basically, they have a peel and stick back, so you don't need a nail gun. Um, you will need something to cut with. I'm gonna use a utility knife. I also bought a jigsaw that I've used before um, for other projects at Home Depot, but I've never um, owned one. So, um, but I'm probably gonna use a utility knife and a level and some other basic things, but this is totally attainable. Anyone can do it. And I just wanna take you along so that you feel like you can do these projects too. So here is the wall in question. I, this is one thing, one wall that I haven't changed in a very long time. So my plan is I'm gonna do vertical shiplap along the bottom and I'm just gonna do it the length of the boards and I think they're four feet. So we're gonna do um, vertical shiplap here and then um, I'm gonna do three pictures of my boys and then three sconces above that. So I just wanted to take you along to show you how easy this is to do in case you're intimidated by shiplap or wall coverings like I have been in the past. So I've decided to start in this corner because on the other end, we just kind of have this open wall and I think it'll be easier to cut the last plank to fit the open wall versus trying to cut it to fit in a corner. So I'm gonna do that and I've already held the shiplap up and kind of made sure that if I line it up with the, the bottom of it with the baseboard, that it's level and it is. And then I'm gonna check it as I go along. But one thing that's nice about these is they're fairly thin and I'm not taking my baseboard off. I know a lot of people that do shiplap take their baseboard off. I'm not taking my baseboard off. My baseboards um, stick out quite a bit so they're, it's gonna be pretty flush with my baseboard and I don't have to worry about that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end here and pull this off. You can see all that sticky. So that's the part that's gonna stick on the wall. So I'm gonna line it up with my baseboard and the corner of my wall. And this is a tool called a J-roller and it just kind of helps evenly get the backing to stick. All right, I'm gonna put the second one up. Um, I, think, I think I've decided that I'm not gonna use the J-roller. I'm gonna go ahead and get these up and then use it at the end.
All right, I just wanted to show you up close what it looks like. You can tell that it looks just like real show flat. So awesome. And it even has the tongue and groove so that it leaves the gap. So it's really, really easy to use. All right, and I know this is probably one question that most of you are gonna have. I wish I didn't have to cut around an outlet, but I do. So this is what I'm doing. I held this piece of shiplap up here next to it and I marked off where I need to cut for the outlet. And then I'm gonna measure um, over from here to here to see how wide I need to make this. And then I'll just cut this out. So I ended up using the jigsaw because I was having a hard time um, cutting through this and I have a, I have a bad wrist. I have a cyst in my wrist, so I have weakness. <laughs> and so I had the jigsaw and honestly, I really just wanted to try it out, but it did give a very clean cut. Um, one thing I had to do too is I unscrewed this outlet a little bit and it recommends that you put the shiplap, not the company, but I just read this, I saw this on YouTube. You should have the shiplap behind it, kind of like this one. So when you screw it in, this would be flush with the shiplap. This one I cut a little too high, but I changed the screw out so it won't push in. So I think it'll be fine. I decided to add a little one by four to the top to give it a more finished look. Then I can kind of hide the unevenness if there was any um, with the shiplap. And I'm gonna cut a piece for over there. I'm just using finishing nails and a hammer. If you don't have a nail gun, um, I'm just doing finishing nails. I found the studs, I marked those on the wall so I knew where to put the nails. Right, so next I decided to go ahead and add a one by three to the top. And all I did for that is I nailed this board to this one. So I just put some nails in the back. And I don't have a nail gun, so I just did that all by hand. 